Welcome back. As previously reported right here on stage, a growing trend in dancehall is Jamaican artists getting the all-important break as residents of other countries, like Cranium in the US, Nobody nothing knows, tell me are you a touch, no and Style OG in the UK. So before the night over, I want you to know that I'm willing to change my way. A development that was unheard of in the past. No, we can do it over, over. Our guest in this segment of our show appears poised to be the next in line. Clarendon born British resident Randy Valentine. Right now, right here on stage. Randy. Greetings. Bless you. Good to have you. Good to have you Thank in the flesh right me. here. Thank you for having me. On our set. Yeah, and um, maybe I should ask you first yeah. what brought you home? What brought me home? Well, can I tell you since the day I left Jamaica in 2003, the day after that, I was looking forward to the day when I got back to Jamaica. So just that idea of coming home, of knowing so that you're... this is actually your first time back First home time since? back for like 10, it was 10, nearly 11 years, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. Because so. you were what, 16 when you left? 16, 17. Mm. Yeah. So as I look at you, I'm but old enough to know that, yeah, this is home. Okay. And then... And you left, left straight from Clarendon? Straight from Clarendon. To, yeah, to, to London. To London, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's right. That. Okay, so all right. So you have this buzz in in Britain and elsewhere. Yeah. Could you describe it for us? What's going on right oh, now? Oh man, right now the music is 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 so many things happening that yeah. we didn't expect. We released a mixtape in two thousand and twelve and that led to a tour that we did in two thousand and thirteen of thirty five shows across Europe and maybe eighteen countries. And then that led to a second tour or a second project that we released was in the 2nd of May, early this year, yes. which Break the Chain, and then that started charting across Europe, went number one in Germany, Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, number three in the UK, number three in Canada, and that led to another tour, which we ended up in Panama, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and the same European tour again, which was another 25 shows, so good things are happening for music. Okay, so but I noticed that you're not saying anything about Jamaica. <laughs> because Jamaica's not in that list no, of you know places what? where you've made some impact. I'm learning um, the music industry in Jamaica. There's nothing much to learn really and truly still because as an artist from outside, yes. they promote this thing to you. Like if you come to Jamaica, you have, you have the millions and millions of dollars in order to be the biggest artist. And I got here from the first time I reached, so I see established DJs playing my music without me even knowing them. To okay. show that you have people out there who support genuine music or music that they still like. So we still have those DJs. So Mr. Big Up Ali DJ them for that. Mm. Whatever is gonna come from me returning well, to that's, Jamaica. That's heartening to to hear. Yeah, because, man, it's good. Um, there's this yeah, this yeah, big there's talk about yeah, yeah, there's Piola that. and Jamaica people playing to play, play um, paying for play. Yeah. All right. So let, before we go any more, let's just go to one of a piece of your music so yeah. that those who. Cool haven't enough. heard of you or heard you before can get yeah. a piece of who you are. Cool Here we enough. go. Watch out now. You better learn how to love her. You better wake up. Watch out now. This thing, this is string, don't really need no new gadget. No, she need love and affection, more attention. No holy for midnight magic. Oh, but you go make another man put a smile on her face. Right there, so you make a big mistake. You're losing the slowly. Cause if you don't learn to love till he die, somebody else will do it for you. One love and call me crazy. But don't me never want you. You better wake up, wake up. You live it in a dream. If you think another one more rock come coming, you're gonna lose your lady. If you don't learn how to treat her right, question: When last you buy your girl some flowers? Send her a text and tell her meet me at the shower. If you not give her no love and affection, next summer she'll run me with the flower. Uh oh, because. You know I 
right And you not gonna realize until it's too late She find a new place, a new face, new love And you could have stopped that with one touch But if you don't learn to love your lady Somebody else will do it for you Go on love and call me crazy All right, there you have it Just a taste of the music from Randy Valentine And that one is called Treat her right. Treat her the right. video is brand new, right? Yeah, man, brand new. Just, just first just, time just. anywhere, yeah. and the song is out already. Yeah, the song is out. Treat her right. It's on. It's been produced by a guy from New York called Killstone. Yes. Being a big, big producer, Bridging linked me and said, "Yo, I want to." I heard some songs that you've done before, and he linked me and said, "Yo, this, 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 this project." Okay. Did the song. I sent him an email, and I remember the email. The email said, "Yo, you're gonna love this song. This song is a hit." Same. And I always keep that email with me because I'm gonna send it back to him. Great. Because now right. we are a showcase upon on stage, which is a joy. <laughs> See that? Well, it's cool good to have you said it. Thank you for choosing our stage. Respect. All right, so but let's, let's just talk a little bit about You were talking about your, um, your music, yeah. that you're a musician, mm. you're a rounded musician. That means that, does that mean that you play something? Um, I've been practicing the guitar. Mm -hmm. I do a wallop on my production on, on keyboard, so I've been practicing the keyboard for the past three, four Five years, you know. Okay. So I'm still learning. So who who were you uh, at 16 in Jamaica? Who was I at 16 in Jamaica? I was a mixture of many things. I was a box boy. Because my father did have a son. I was a youth that dropped out of school just before it was time to graduate. I was a little youth who you probably call the the charmer out the road with the whole of lyrics I write was love it, letter. Was, what's the name of your father's sound? Shining Star. Shining, Shining Star. Star. Based yeah, in Clarendon. Based in Clarendon. Okay. Yeah, man. And, that is probably the main reason as to why I'm even here doing music, because I grew up watching my dad playing every other kind of genre of music, you know? Okay. Everything from Morrison Return of the Mac to some Lucky Dubay to some Peter Tash to some Tracy Chapman to some Sam Cooke, mm -hmm. various different artists, you know? So did you continue school in London? Yeah, I did continue school in London, but not even to um, college level. Mm. Reach a London too late and then say, yo, you need to go to a training center. My mom said, you have to do that because we can't have you sit down in the yard. You come from Jamaica, you can't come sit down. So yeah. I went into training and I did that for four years. And I got a painting and decorating qualification, which I never even knew I'm going to do that. Because mm -hmm. I mean, just know some music, I did one really and truly, you know? Okay, so, so after that you decided? Yeah, graduated. So music is your first job? <laughs> no, my first job was working in a hospital. In, okay. Yeah, for like five years, start wash pot. Graduated, um, got promoted from what's in the pot to the hot plate, from the hot plate to the till, from the till to supervisor, from supervisor to finance manager. Mm -hmm. And that was five years, and then I just quit. One day, I wake up, I go to work, come off of the bus, press the buzzer, I'm done. done. Went straight to studio, and studio led me straight here. So music is full time? Music is full time. Ah, yeah, and, man. And you're poised, looking good, yeah, well poised cool, to make. Man. To make a good, a decent living out I, of it, I have to branding. accept the fact that there, there will be struggles, you know, yes. in whatever it is that I do. I've seen my dad make his zero work, theme zero, and take theme zero, and made whatever it is that I'm doing now. It's okay. the offspring of his hard work, so hard work. I feel like I mean, not anything we I do. Oh, so what's your family like? Siblings and so on? Yeah. Everybody's in London? London everybody in London still. Two brothers, one sister. Mm -hmm. The whole family did it. Okay. Yeah, man. So you, you're a, a tight-knit family? Yeah. Together? Yeah, man, together. They're supporting your moves? They love my your mom music. Your mom's not disappointed with no, your my, direction? No, my mom loves my music. My mom sings, but she's not a singer. Okay. But she always a singer. So she's house. proud of you? She's proud. She sent that message 10 minutes before I got on this stage. She said, you're Randy. Oh. Love. So, yeah. We proud of you too, Randy. Respect, respect. All the man. best. Thank We've you. been watching the career. Send us the videos. Cool, man. Send us the reports on your progress. Thank so you we've very been much. finding out for ourselves and reporting right here on stage. Thank you very much for having me. So good to have you, sir. Bless you. All right, there you have him right here on stage, Randy Valentine, based in Britain, but every bit a Jamaican, pushing the sounds of Jamaica. All right, stay with us. Coming up right here on stage, the diamond in dance hall will be here. And also coming up, Masikas. Stay with us. We'll me never sell out, cut the nonsense. Straight from me, that big up conscience. Cut come a smart common sense. Friends start link on the wrong ends. Jamaica, me never ungrateful. That's why me cut before the plate full.